happy thursday guys um as usual in traffic and we're giving god thanks for almost reaching the end of the week and we're giving god thanks for the beautiful sunshine it is warm it is sunny and traffic is flowing so without further ado let me jump into the matches that were aired last night on schools challenge quiz and the schools that were featured were Campion High and they went up against Oberlin High um now obviously um I don't think anybody really expected Oberlin to win so let me just put that out there um some people are gonna vex but let us say it there's some schools that enter this competition for really experience them not enter for win I really experience them not enter for such is the case with Oberlin um Oberlin will never win a schools challenge quiz series or finals rather um it's a tall order if they will ever get past a first round because usually the first round persons with a very low seed seeding is paired with somebody that's very high very high on the seeding list so for instance Jago was paired with Port Antonio or sorry and not a very high um, such is the case Oberlin being paired with Campion and the probability of them actually winning a match um, such as the one as last night it's possible but it's improbable okay guys so let's just talk about this set of campionites that we have this year uh, not used to what I would usually see in their predecessors but you know they gave a I said I'd say a fairly good attempt that they gave last night I'm not sure if this team will advance to the quarterfinals to be honest but then again it's early years ahead because many of the traditionally expected ones that I had pegged for you know performance it's proving to be uncertain I still have the likes of other schools to see so far my expectations weren't meant for Woolmer's girls um, my expectations weren't met for George's it's, and, you know, but as we said it's early days I had still guys oh sun hot um, so anyway I'd like to dig up the efforts of this the, the young Miss on Oberlin's team I believe she was the captain she had a hungry one where really say I really put out as much that the others were ah I don't know if I say um you know, like you have a performer and then you have some flagman on the stage. The two young miss beside her was like a flagman. Because they never talk. They never talk. At least the youth on the far right and so on. Question, you know, the buzz around. But they had a two of them. Yeah, man. A, a cheerleader them. them. Them go up there for support. They never 6 nine, eleven. But anyway, guys. The buzzer round ended on Campion College on 30 and uh, Oberlin on four as i said they 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 buzzed in they got one and um then they lost it towards the end no you see from the 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 match start and then i introduced himself i'm gonna see this see a baby ear i see this see a baby ear across the screen for Oberlin. they say oh it's not to say they didn't have it that they would have won but it's usually an indication of how badly you're gonna lose um and we never yet wrong yet people we never yet get it wrong yet so anyway kudos to you um thanks for coming Oberlin all the best in all together sing because that's usually the only thing that you're renowned for winning so you find something that you're good at put your efforts into that but nonetheless you get little experience from school's challenge Chris. so big up yourself big up yourself um and on that note guys have a really great thursday and i'll see you all in the morning toodles